five things you can do to get your home loan denied. That's what we're talking about today. Buckle up and let's dive right into it. The pre-approval got you thus far. The pre-approval gave you a number and amount you're going to qualify for to get yourself a home mortgage. And now finally you found the house, your dream house. And now you're ready to go and apply for the actual mortgage. So let's make sure we don't mess it up. Making any one of these five mistakes between now and the time it's time to close on your loan and not in a particular order, you're going to get denied. Yep. Number one, you risk to get your mortgage denied is credit and credit cards. Do not make any big purchases. And what I mean by that is no jewelry, no furniture, no cars. I know you're excited because you got the house and you can't wait to move in. You really want to start shopping. You're already moved in in your head. Dreaming about it and you want to buy stuff. You are so excited, right? But remember, you got your mortgage pre-approval and they took a lot of your credit, your debts, your income, and your credit score into the equation to qualify you for X amount of dollars for the mortgage. You screw that up by buying something big, you're out, my friends, okay? Remember, don't do anything that's going to affect your credit score or credit worthiness. Number two, friends, do not apply for any new credit cards. No credit cards, none of it. No credit cards that you get offers from the department stores. No credit cards of any kind. We all get bombarded with mailers all the time. Even if it tells you you are pre-approved for this, do not, under no circumstances, open a new credit card. You will jeopardize your mortgage pre-approval and you'll find yourself denied. Number three, don't decide all of a sudden to pay off any debts or any collections. Yep. Paying off debts may sound like a great idea, but unless your mortgage broker told you to do so, when you applied for the pre-approval, unless they tell you that it's going to help with or is required for your mortgage approval and will help you getting the loan for your home, paying off debt isn't going to be good. Your FICO score is calculated very interestingly, it really does not make that much sense. You don't want to risk changing anything at all unless you were told specifically to do so. And I may sound like a broken record, but I can't express enough how terrible this will end up to be for you. I actually did a video about what to watch for when qualifying for a home loan. You might want to just Watch and check that out after this video. So please don't make any changes to your credit profile unless specifically instructed to do so by the lender or the mortgage broker. Are you ready for number four? Number four is bank accounts. So do not change your bank. If you remember when you applied for your pre-approval, if they did it right, the lender probably asked you for two months of your bank statements from current checking and savings accounts. They will be asking for those again. They will actually ask for fresh paperwork every month or so during the whole mortgage application process. You will be required to provide those. They want to see that your statements are sourced and seasoned. In case you don't know what sourced means, that means that the lender can determine where the money came from. The lender, the bank, wants to see you had it for a while, that it didn't just appear there. They check for these things to make sure that there's no monkey business, no money laundering going on. And they want to see that your financial stability is pretty stable. Can you blame them? If you decide to change bank accounts because you didn't see this video yet, you're gonna have to start all over again. And in order for these statements to be considered seasoned, you will have to wait for the new bank account to be at least 60 days old in order to get to that 
point of season. So do yourself a favor, don't change bank accounts. Number five, to screw up your mortgage application and get denied for a home loan is do not make any unusual deposits into your bank account. The two very important considerations when it comes to your bank accounts are the withdrawals and the deposits. You don't want to have anything that looks unusual from the usual especially when it comes to large deposits. The only large deposits your bank account should show as normal would be your income. And of course, it also depends where the money is coming from. There are a lot of buyers who are using cash gifts from family members to help with a down payment, especially when you're a young couple and you're just starting out. Don't get me wrong. Some loan programs do allow for those down payment gifts from family members. So if you are planning to receive such gifts, all you have to do is you better make sure that you let your loan officer know ahead of time that this is going to happen and they will give you direct instructions on how to proceed with the gifts. There's a reason it must be a gift and not a loan. Because a gift will not be looked at as a debt on your loan application. Because it's a gift. The second issue could be a large withdrawal. A large withdrawal could cause the loan underwriter to question you. What was it for? And large amount of withdrawals can indicate that your cash reserves are being decreased and your pre-approval, if it was actually based on these funds, many times it does, it's going to throw things off and get your mortgage application denied. So let's keep things just as they are and let's not do anything without talking to your lender first about your intentions. That's the only way you can be sure that you can get your mortgage approved and you will close on your home, my friends. My name is Asphir Popolevsky. I'm a broker with Supreme Home Sales. And on this channel, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. Consider subscribing, like and comment on this video. Be sure to watch other videos I mentioned before. And I will see you in the next video, friends.